Well, no my hiding my on a grey drizzly day here in the Hutt Valley. Welcome back, fellas, for another episode of Where Are They Now? What are you up to now? 34. Three, four. Awesome, guys. Really going gangbusters, these videos. And I hope you enjoyed the videos um, yesterday, particularly with our friends over in the UK. Now, our next classmate, I haven't seen like many of the others for over 28 years. When we're at school, I have no idea where he's been, what he's been doing. So this is going to be a great catch up for all of us. He was a day boy. I remember him well because we were in the first, um, our first form class together with Father Peter Blake, 3PB. And then we carried on into some multi classes together with the one and only, of course, um, Mr. Money or Portal, who uh, took multi uh, at that time. So look straight into it, and it's a Great welcome and hi my kia ora to the one and only Daniel Walker. Kia ora, Dan. Kia ora, Yitch. Oh, great to see you, mate. Look at you. You're ready to go. You got the scarf on and everything. Yeah, yeah. No, I have. Yeah. Um, you know, I've just uh, been watching all the videos from all the guys and um, it's been, been amazing watching what everyone's been up to and, yeah, everyone's been doing, you know, an awesome awesome thing you know like, and what you're doing is great too and i'd like to acknowledge that first off you know well thank it's you great. brother it's my pleasure my pleasure to um reconnect again now before we rip into this you sent this lovely photo so i'm going to bring this up now hang on a second give me one tick there yeah right here it is the mighty the mighty three pb so for those watching the video, yeah. the one and only Father Peter Blake, our teacher, here he is, Dan Walker, right in the front row. There he is. Look at him. Look at that great head of hair that you had, Dan. And yeah. of course, next That's, to you, uh, you got Beast next to you on one side, Justin McCarthy. Yeah. You know, we had some yeah, yeah. great classmates, Stu McKinley that was up here that spoke uh, last night from the UK. Uh, yeah. Jared Dwyer yeah, from the top. Taranaki, Tyson Hill, I think our prefect here was Steve Smith, Mike Byrne over here, yeah. Todd Nicholson, Hayden Whippich now over in Japan, Ben Daly, Jeff Stewart, Jason Thomas, Daniel Ellsworth, Scotty J, Scotty Jensen over here, yeah, Mitchell, yeah. Mitchell Gray, Toby Mizera, Corker in the middle, Justin Harper, uh, Ben DeFlu, Dave Quinn, I think I got everyone. What a great class that was. Yeah, no, it was awesome, eh? Yeah, great. And there's, there is there. There's Dan right there. Okay. Yeah. Right, Dan, take us back. What brought you to Silverstream? So how did you come about coming to St. Pat's? And of course, you were a day boy. Do you remember your first day? Uh, yeah, I was kind of um, on my first day. I actually don't remember that, that much because I was all quite full on. Um, obviously, I didn't sort of um, attend any of um, the schools where anyone from my um, year went, um, I sort of um, like uh, came from a school where there was no one else from my school at primary and intermediate that went to St. Pat's. So I sort of made friends as I went, really. And, you yeah, know, it was, it was really good just to, you know, have day one. And I actually can't remember whether I got dropped off or whether I um, caught the bus down to Tyler. Uh, train station from Stokes Valley and then hopped on a train and caught the train from Tyler to Silverstream. Wow. Um, and jumped off. But yeah, I think I got dropped off because it was my first day and stuff. So, wow. So, what schools did you go Sorry, what schools and intermediate did you go to before stream? I, so, I went to uh, Rita Steiner School in Belmont. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, for, for my primary and intermediate years. Oh wow! Awesome, Dan. Now, Raphael House. Yeah. Did you end up doing doing the full five years at Silverstream? Yeah, I, I did um, all the way from eighty nine through to ninety three uh, at St Pat's, and yeah, no, it was uh, it was great. Now you did something unique, and, and I don't mind sharing this because Maori uh, studies and culture was definitely in its infancy 
when when we were at school it, it is quite accelerated and come a long way now but when we were there you were one of the only guys to do fifth sixth and seventh form all the way um, maori in those days so you know how, how did you find it because it would have been quite lonely uh yeah so i used to sort of tuck my way uh self away uh in a class um in fifth form well in fifth form i was good it wasn't that lonely i had a good mate um, who I haven't caught up for a long time, actually. His name was a good man by the name of Lyndon Bowering. And, um, yeah, no, we used to have some great get-togethers and catch-ups, and and uh, that was our sort of chat class where we could just do whatever, and we sort of got down and got down, um, got into the books a bit, but a bit of the time we'd, um, you know, screw up, you know, bits of paper we didn't need and that and practice our basketball shots into the waste paper bin just in the... Uh, in the corner there and so you could get the most shots on and stuff but uh, through and through we we did get knuckle into our multi studies throughout that that um year five and get that done in fifth form um but obviously i can't remember sixth and seventh whether he was there or not but i, I certainly was and had massive amounts of um correspondence books that i worked my way through throughout the um my schooling in those years as well so which obviously yeah was was great too yeah, well, bravo to you. Yeah, bravo. Correspondence is no, uh, no, no easy feat. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, you've got to um, sort of do everything's up to you and when you want to do it and stuff. So you, it's no one actually sort of teaching you. Uh, Mr. Mania Poto uh, used to uh, come in and check on us and see if we were going and how we were doing and everything like that. And um, I actually saw him oh, a wee while ago now probably about uh, 10 years, maybe, and he bumped into him and recognised him, and, yeah, he, he was he was good. And I'll never forget his, uh, obviously, the boys have mentioned it, his big blue uh, Bedford van uh, that he had. Um, yeah, it's, uh, he was a great man, and I enjoyed, you know, being in, doing Māori in third and fourth form with the boys as well, so, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, speaking of basketball, I think you've got a bit of memorabilia with you, mate. Uh, yeah, so I was going to put it on, but um, I've sort of grown out of it a bit. But um, this is um, my my basketball singlet that I wore, number four. Um, so, hey. you know, um, there it is. And yeah, it's still got it. Um, and I've also got uh, my school tie. But I asked where my blazer was because I was going to try and do a beast, Damien Curtis. And uh, I couldn't because mum got rid of my blazer about seven or so years ago. So I was like, oh, do, do you want to have a chat to me about that? Or, But yeah, no, I probably would still fit that though. Wow. Now, what did you do your first year out of stream? Um, first year out of stream, I basically, like a few other boys have mentioned, um, went off and studied at uh, Hutt Valley Polytechnic and did a um, hospitality course. Um, uh, ended up my 751 and um, 752 chefing course. And um, yeah, no, that was that was really good. And um, I got a, um, uh, yeah, got, got some good results for that and, and everything like that. And did a bartender's thing as well in the same year and, and, and got everything sorted for that. So, well done. Um, yeah. And oh, so I'll throw in there that I ended up, um, that year doing some work experience at the Trent the Army Camp. Um, it was good. Um, spent three weeks there and um, helped the chefs out and everything. And then somehow they found out it was my birthday. And I ended up in a um, uh, in a kitchen sink. Um, you know, the, the kitchen hand there, a big lady sort of, and a couple of the other boys sort of got me and put me in the sink. And yeah, that was really, um, really sort of, Interesting, but uh, yeah, no, uh, I'll remember that fondly and did my work experience. But you know, I all got on with them for those three weeks of work there, and I was like, oh, oh is that what the army is like? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just if you got me on a speaker there, Dan, if, if you can, can you, can you just turn it down? I'm getting a bit of feedback come through. Oh, uh, yeah, um, is that better? Yeah, I'll keep... 
Oh, that's all right. I can still hear myself. I look, oh, I says, let's go. So what do you do for work now? What's your occupation? And what have you been doing all these years? Um, so I've pretty much um, um, in 95, I um, went off and after my after all of the hospitality courses and decided to do a baker's apprenticeship. Um, and then obviously I didn't, well, not obviously, but I, I did two years of it and then I thought, oh, that's enough. And so then I thought I'd go on and carry on with um, some other stuff. And then I did a, um, a, a course over on the Wider Upper, an Outdoors Pursuits course, um, and did that for a year. Um, you know, and that was that was really good. You know, got to do everything from the likes of caving, rafting, kayaking, um, doing bridge swings, um, kayaking down the rivers, <laughs> doing rolls in the river and flipping up and learning how to do all that stuff. Um, and yeah, no, it was uh, really, you know, mountaineering and tramping and getting out there and learning all that kind of stuff that, you know, it was good to, to get into and everything like that. And spent a, um, a year living over in the wider upper um, for, for a bit of, bit of time over there. And yeah, it was, um, uh, it was good living over there in our home to stay there um, with some people and oh, just going man. to my course oh, at the upper each day. So yeah. Yeah. And oh, then well, from there, well, well. I think um, I um, joined the um, the Navy, the Royal New Zealand Navy, um, around about um, 2000, uh, and then I only just finished up there about well, probably two years ago in the Navy, and then had had some great times too, um, travelling places I probably would never go to. Um, around the world, you know, and I didn't have to pay a cent to get there, so yeah. Well done, Dan. Well, I didn't well, yeah. know that you became a passer. Yeah, I became a passer. Yeah, so... Fantastic. Yeah. What, what rank did you get up to and what, yeah. was, what branch were you? Uh, so I made it uh, up to a corporal equivalent uh, and I was a steward by trade. So I uh, learned a lot of little different things, got a good couple of clothes out, um, my, my London City and Guilds, um, you know, um, for, for, you know, in the first part, and then in five years later, I got my second qualification of it, so yeah, I'm all called up with, the, uh, with that, so, you know, they're quite highly recognised as well, so I was pretty stoked with um, that, you know, um, and then I practised that uh, throughout my career in the Navy, so yeah. Well, well done, Dan. Oh, well done, man. Congratulations, man. That's um, something to be very proud of. Um, a lot of years sounds like you served in, in the in the Navy. So well done representing our senior yeah. service. And uh, thank you for your service. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. No, no props at all. Um, yeah, just if I could go back to a couple of places I went to. Um, I went to some places. I went on an operation and my only operational deployment back in uh, 2003. Uh, and I was away from home for about seven, seven or eight months um, over there. We was, uh, went to Muscat, um, Bahrain, um, and Dubai. You know, it was, you know, and then I played some football uh, and some cricket, obviously over in uh, uh, in India and in, um, in Dubai. I played against some, and, um, and but the funny thing about playing cricket over there in in Dubai was um, the cricket pitch was concrete. Um, and you know, I've never played on a concrete pitch before, and then the rest of the outfield was all sand. So you get quite a bit of purchase, say, with um, I was rolling over my leggies because obviously, you know, I, I, I love playing cricket and uh, at school and then I'm still playing it now. So, but um, you know, I was in Des Boyle's team, um, playing there, awesome. um, rolling my leggies over, and you know, um, just recently, I wasn't a renowned batter, but the other, other week I got um, um. About 40, I got 42 not out. So uh, I was pretty stoked with that. Yeah, smashed a few sixes. So. Good on you. And were you oh, serving man. on one of the frigates over there? Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually, um, was, I was serving on this one. Um, I just thought I'd put it out there. Um, so that's um, HMNZS that's Tamana, and I've got a hat for it. So it's Op, op Arihi 2003. So, uh, 
obviously got my name on the, nice. on the side there. And um, you know, um, pretty stoked. I, I read it hat quite a bit actually. Um, you know, because because I can, and yeah, it's it's um, amazing. You know, sort of what you experience when you go and do something like that. So. You know, not only, you know, I got to travel around and see a few places um, around the world that I probably would never have seen if I hadn't joined the Navy. Oh, 100%. Now, tell us about your whānau. Introduce your, uh, you have, do you have wife and children? Yes, I've got my, um, um, I'm married to my wife and I'm also got, um, uh, obviously, my both my children, um, the 11 um coming up 12 soon and uh the, so yeah um uh, i've got a boy and a girl so yeah scarlet and hayden so um yeah no they're, they're, they're really good um and doing really well and you know life's good at you know so good to hear but, uh, yeah <laughs> and son, son loves, oh, so i was gonna say where's home for you now uh, so I'm up in uh, up the top of Upper Hutt there, um, just up uh, near Harcourt Park. If anyone recognises or remembers that, so yeah, so I'm chilling out and you know got a big field down there to go play football with my son, and cause he loves that, and he's he's a uh, he, he's he's loving his cricket too. You know, we just got back from indoor today, so he 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 he, they, he and his mate in the last partnership did like 42 runs to win. And um, he hit the winning run, so they managed to get get that off four overs. So I was pretty stoked. And he said, "Oh, the pressure was on, Dad. The pressure was on. I'm, I needed to get that." So, um, yeah, he needed like three runs off the last four, so he smashed a four, and yeah, it was great. Um, God, yeah. proud, proud Dad, well done. You know, yeah. All right, and, memory, and, memory time for you. And, you mentioned yeah. you might have a couple. Take us back. Something that stuck with you all is through all these years, particular memory or memories that, you know, of your time at Stream that you'd like to share with the guys? Oh, yeah, there's, there's heaps. There's so many memories that I can think of, eh? Like, um, I think there was one where, um, obviously, um, my memories of doing correspondence with Lyndon, how I spoke about earlier. Um, you know, also the... Um, I, I remember there was there was a kick, I think, to win the game, eh? And... Um, there was a guy um, that you probably all remember, and he had it from right out in front. I think it was against St. Pat's Town, and um, we were all ready. We were ready to get run on the field, and you know, for the win and the stuff. And it was right out in front, and it was either a penalty or a conversion. And the guy went to kick it, and he missed it. Um, his name, his surname was Minix. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else. That was one thing that I I, I remember. Um, that was just yeah. Good know. memory, Dan. Good memory. And now look where look where he's 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 at, you know. So um look what look what he's done with himself as well. So that's that's amazing. Um the other I went to a, a ski trip up with Father Donahue up to Ruapihu one year and we stopped off in Jerusalem and I saw a few people on that trip. Um, and yeah. that was I can't remember who I was who else was with me. I but, was with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was an amazing trip. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, um, there was an old queer out there that we bumped into, um, uh, and stuff. So the other one, um, I do remember one time where there was a little trick. This was just outside the school grounds, obviously, by the train tracks. Someone used to like get a twenty cent coin and stick it on the railway tracks, and the bells used to start ringing. <laughs> so everyone yeah. thought the train was yeah. coming. Uh, I think the first person to do that, or from my memory, was um, a guy by the name of Michael Stack. Um, and then everyone else started trying to do it. You know, he got the old 20 cent on the crack and the bells start ringing. So, you know, that was, that was great. I used to get everyone, all the, all the boys going for it. Today, so. um, and obviously, um, I had quite a good answer. And stuff and not you know I was also quite accurate too with my throwing and always used to be in the middle of winter standing there and there and it'd be you know the bramble obviously you know we'd turn it into bramble way eh? yeah so bramble was awesome I love yeah. playing I love playing bramble way eh? like you know but apparently there's no headshots but sometimes it would slip up a bit eh? but <laughs> yeah it was it was you know, 
Um, and I also remember the ranks. Um, the ranks were standing in there in your form class and everything. And then, you know, at the time, one time, father came in with his microphone that he used to have and all that stuff. And one morning, I think we were out there and I didn't know what it meant. I still don't really, but someone had a golf ball. You know, a couple of the big seven formers had a golf ball and stuff. And they used to bounce it, you know. Um, You know, I'm like, what does all this mean? Like, you know, like, what's going on? But uh, yeah, those are the, those are the ones. Well, Dave, you got quite a few memories there, my friend. Some, some good, think, um, good times. Yeah, there is one other one too that I will bring up. Um, I I saw the video from Stu McKinley. He he's a he was great at school as well, and so was everyone else. But he was one particular. He was mentioning, you know, you know, you were mentioning the height of the seventh formers, you know, at school, at stream, and and we were just, you know, the sort of likes of Dave McGuinness, um, you know, uh, Shane McDonald, and all the other tall boys that were there. And there was one guy, I remember vividly. I can't remember his name, but he was tall. He was like the tallest seventh former they had, and he was, he had sort of, I can't remember his name, but you might remember. But uh, he was the tallest in the whole school. Um, and yeah, it was it was quite classic, really. And, and there was one day I can't remember who it was, but I was going into Latin class or something, and then I just had enough of um, some of the comments that some of the, a couple of the mate, my mates were making. Eh? And I, I don't normally lash out. I was quite a patient person, and I just go about doing what I was doing. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not standing for this. So I went to smash the sky, and I think I um, hit him right on his hip. Yeah, and I was like, ah, and I hit, you know, because I. You know, I was only short, so I couldn't really reach. And I went home, had to go home from school, eh? and then, you know, I was like, oh, God, what's going on here? And I ended up, um, yeah, I broke my wrist. So I came back to school the next day in a, <laughs> in a, club, in a car stay, and I was like, oh, God, this is like, you know, I think that was like my first year. To, oh, I was probably about six months into third form, eh? and, or fourth form, maybe. I can't actually remember. But, yeah, no, those were, the, those were, those were pretty cool days, eh? Well, all right, buddy. Well, listen, I'm really glad that um, you're going to be coming along to the foundation dinner at the end of the July. It'll be great to catch up with you and, and of course, all the rest of the guys. Have you got um, a message that you'd like to send out to the boys that'll be watching this video? Yeah, I have, actually. Uh, I just wanted to say it's been really great, guys, watching all the videos that you've been doing and, you know, great catching up and seeing what everyone's up to. And, you know, um, this foundation dinner... You know, I've put my name in and I'm coming along, so it's going to be a good night. And, um, you know, just hearing everyone's stories and what they've been up to and everything like that. And obviously the ones that are local, um, you know, it'll be good catching up for a beer and hopefully we can, you know, get in touch a bit more after the dinner. And, you know, it's not just a thing. I mean, then we'll sort of, sort of, you know, like when we're 70, we might get on the Zoom again. But, you know, um, we want to try and touch base and get the network working so we can, have, have catch up on more of a regular basis. Uh, that'd be great. Yeah, um, you hit the nail on the head then. We, we want to carry this on um, now that we've got it going. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it going for sure. No excuses. We've got to, we've got to make the time to um, catch up. Yeah, that's that's good. No, that's awesome, eh, hey, yeah. dude? Hey, do you keep, do you keep in touch with anyone from our year? Uh, yeah, so... Wait. Uh, up until probably a few years ago, I was um, in touch with um, Sex. Uh, yeah, um, Andrew Sonic Thompson um, and Nick Quinn. Um, I saw him. Yeah, um, I, I think I bumped into Jamie Williams at the um, cricket and he was doing something with Black and Gold uh, or Kapuda. Yeah, awesome. Um, and um, really, uh, oh, Dan Boyle, he came back one year and we went to, he was like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll go to the cricket. So, yeah, it's like, what time are you going? And I'm like, who's Dan? He said he was going to the cricket. And, you know, he came probably about an hour after we all got there. And, and yeah, then we watched cricket together and had a couple of drinks and get together and stuff. And, yeah, because, yeah, so. But, um I've got a whole list of names of who was in my, actually in my um, group, like all the boys' names. 
I'm not sure I could read it out if you want. Yeah, go for it, mate. Um, so sort of as day boys, we had um, you know, there's a few boys that, you know, there's a so there was a smaller group, but then there was the larger group. So I'll just read out the larger group because everyone will know who's in the smaller group. So we've got um Toby Mesera, Andrew Sanek Thompson, Andrew Stewart, Dave Crosby, Andrew Sudfeld, Nick Quinn, Dan Boyle, Richard Elwedy, Greg Watts, Mitchell Gray, uh, Simon Wadsworth, Tama Dennison, Andrew Foster, Michael Galatley. Simon Quirk, Andrew Peoples, Grant Redman, Stu McKinley, Jason Thomas, Ian O'Connor, Scott Sarich, Kendall McDonald, Andrew Howitson, Mario Barzi, Julian McKenzie, Craig Duncan, and Michael Stack. Some great names there. Great yeah. Oh, perfect. So, uh, oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, 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 that was like the old touch at lunchtime, and you know some of the ballers would come over occasionally, like you know maybe Beast or but. Going back to borders just quickly, they um Beast and McCarthy, because I sat next to them in my form class, eh? so I was always really close to those two as you know, being the being the borders, you know, like they were always great, great sort of, you know, they'd always be there and um, you know, and also um who was the other one? Um, oh, there was a guy by the name of Dougie McGifford. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, the one and yeah, only. Um, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he 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 always stood out for me. Eh? Like it was like something about him, eh? like, you know, and, and uh, you know, Hugo and him, I think, the way they used to wear their shorts, oh, that was the, yeah, that was a hard case. And he was like, hey, they weren't the only ones, but those are the only ones I can think of, so, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, listen, my friend, we'll come to the end. Thank you so much for sharing your memories. You've got plenty of them. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> that's all right, Yitch. You've got a bloody good memory. Um, mate, on behalf of all of us, thank you for sharing them. And um, we can't wait to catch up with you at that dinner at the end of July, my friend. It'd be great to see you. Yeah, mate. Neither can I, eh? That's going to be great. Awesome, mate. And we'll make sure we'll have, we'll have a couple of beers. Well, there you go, classmates. The one and only Dan Walker. Um, all the best to you and your whānau. Thank you for your time. Yeah, great. Thanks, Yitch. Cheers.